Hey, welcome back to another vlog, man. I got my nigga James with me for the. Was good. The, I don't even know how many times this nigga been up. This nigga been on the channel a lot. You feel me? Way before five hundred. We we been on the channel for a lot. You got to cut now. You see, it's different from the from the Chick Fil A mukbang, bro. Hey, fresh cut. I fuck with it, bro. Still right. got hey, the still got the Chick Fil A. Still got the cheap. Same order. You feel me? You feel me? Same order. Uh, Polynesian sauce. Uh, the spicy shit. Both on. Oh, uh, both on. I oh, know you got them wow. wild. Bro said both on. Needed both on. Uh, let me tell y'all boys about Jesus Christ though, right quick. Three days ago, I lied to you not. I was having a conversation with. This girl I'm talking to or whatever. And I was like, she brought up a church. And I was like, I haven't been to church in a minute. But I really need to go to a church. And I and I this is a day to my eye off and all that, bro. And I was just finna chill. This man hit me up out of nowhere. Like let's go, bro, let's go to church. For real. I, the biggest smile popped up on my face when he, when he said that. I swear I, I got excited. I swear I was like, yo, I really want to go to church too, just to like feel the the energy around it you know what i'm saying this is like sunday gonna be better this just the, the the men getting together and everything like that and we all chilling but i've been going here for three weeks now i just joined last sunday that just passed so so sure. i've been rocking with it for real been trying to get everything together and for real but it's, and get up in there yeah it's been tough my nigga but hey a lot of good make things it been happening for real so I'm just make it happen man it. hey for real man hey, y'all boys really pray about whatever, just just talk to that man, you know. Cause there been plenty of situations where I was like, it ain't no way I'm finna get out of or get through. Or I had literally sat in my room one day and cried cause a situation had happened where I thought I wasn't gonna like make some bread type like that. And then I literally told this man like, bro, you're not for me. Like, why would you, why would this happen and this happen? Now how I'm supposed to do what I gotta do? Cry for about. 10, 15 minutes, wipe my tears. He's like, nah, bro. I, I know you got me. He got, he had me. He very, and I was like, I was so like, sorry. I apologize so you, much. Like, a lot of times he'll, he'll put you in situations and show you like that you, like you can't do nothing without him because of, I'm at my job. I've been there longer than niggas and niggas done got raises and all type of stuff and they ain't get mine. I'm like, bro, like what they got going on? I'm about to leave this. Fast. I'm about to leave. And then, I got a raise, and then now I got an opportunity to switch over and get another one. If I decide to do that and get another position at my hey. job, I was like, bro. But it's just been going to church. Everything been going good, for real. Like, hey, the, the, just those, those blessings, man, that faith and that belief is on Boy. his time and not your time. And that's one thing I had to really realize. Like, just because it ain't happened then don't mean it's not going to happen. Yeah, definitely. You know what I'm saying? Just because you want to happen like this, it don't mean that you put you through a test before you even get there and see if you can handle it, bro. And a lot of times people say that God speak to them. Like, sometimes they don't hear a voice, though. It be through a situation that you be like, I know God. You feel me? Like, me. I know. Yeah. Or a dream or just like yeah. a look in the sky and you see like, or the birds chirping. Sometimes I be like. Or just a peace, bro, because it was a situation I was going through. And I was like, bro, I don't know how I'm going to deal with this. I don't know nothing. I just got peace about it and I was good. I got through the situation. It was tough, but. I got through it. Hey, facts. And then where I'm at now, they got a lot of young people, but they got like some older people that look out for me and everything. Like that's why I love. I go to Cornelia, but that's why I loved it. Cause when I first walked in, normally you go to church, bro. You knew niggas be looking at you crazy and all that, bro. I, got I greeted, never understood that. I got I greeted by to honey. everybody in there greeted me that day. Then this lady came and I had to sit up front with her cause she was trying to get me to. I open up and, yeah, like, and everything yeah, like that. I don't know. But it's been cool. Like I done met a whole bunch of cool people and everything like that. That's how I got invited to the thing tonight. Sure. But hey, I like it, man. I'm glad to be a part of that, man. I appreciate you, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, Hit me okay. up. I already, I already try to get up in there. Nigga, I'm in here. I'm in church, bro. I done had a good really experience. Get out of church, bro. And this lady cook. She gave me this one Sunday. But she gave me this joint, bro. I cried in the car. Hey man, that, Nigga, I was the like, words what? hit, it be hitting like bro, that. I needed it at that time. Uh, she gave me this one Sunday. I was like, bro, that's crazy. Like, I really work with the church though, for hey, real. Man. That's a good church. Some churches do be on some other stuff. Like, we not all his children. Like, they look at you like, nah, bro, we all here for the same reason. What? They hear the word, and then, you know. It's really. like you push people out, and then now nobody come to church, and now you mad because ain't nobody coming to church. Like, all right. That don't make sense. It's bad That's tough, man. It's going to be a good day, man. Overall, I feel like I had a good week myself, you know? Waking up, 
Just been doing something. I do got into a situation though, cause I'm supposed to be. That's why I hit you up about Charlotte. Mm -hmm. I'm supposed to be having my three weeks of CDL training in Charlotte, but I'm like, okay, how am I get there? How I'm supposed to when the babysitting thing and then stuff like that. I'm like, all right, what if I can do that. It's Monday through Thursdays for three weeks. And then... But you got to like, go all the way up there and come out. Wow. Exactly. That's what I'm saying. And then it's like... Then they pay for you for the... After you do that, you pay 160 then After that, they give you four days in Texas. And then that's when you actually take the jump, like the driving part. And then you pass and then you go on the road through there. And like for like five to six weeks, they said. And then that's when you like hire a tight job. Okay. Yeah, that's the tough So I'm like... So I'm like, okay, if that don't happen... That's cool, cause I, I apply for like multiple stuff, but I'm just like, okay, that that don't happen. I'm not gonna let it beat me up, cause another door will open. You know what I'm saying? I had to, like for two days, I was contemplating like confusion on it. I'm like, all right, bro. I, I done been to something like this before, where something didn't happen, something better came. And if this is for me, it will work. If it's not, I'm cool. I'm gonna continue to do what I do. And with trucking, it's best to happen. be patient, bro. Cause like with trucking, you'll find a lot of companies that they sound perfect. It's Facts. Perfect, my nigga. Be on some other job. There, you'd be like, bro, this ain't, this ain't it. I went, through, I went from company to company for a little while, and then we started our own company, and then we moved on from that, and I started working around it, which is cool. It ain't nothing wrong with where I work at, but it's just like since I have my own company, I want to do that again. Right, and it's gonna happen, bro. It's gonna happen. Definitely, because the biggest goal is to. Help out like young black kids that don't know what they want to do. Like you turn twenty one, yeah, you come work for us five years. We give you a truck. You had whatever truck you drove that five years. Dude, you can have that's that yours, and, and, that, and that's motion to pay the truck off. And that's motion, man. Putting people, putting people in a better position, man. Like, yeah. Help another person, man. And it ain't nothing like having your own. Definitely, you, and it's hard to somebody find somebody else like your own. It's hard to find what you want to do in life, bro, because it'd be like, I want to do this, I want to do that. It'd be a lot. For real. Just gotta try something, for real. And once you try, you find out if you like it or not, bro. Don't be scared to fail. That's what a lot of people be doing, because, nigga, I was known for it, bro. I had a lot of jobs. Like, I'd do this, I'd do that. But then once I started driving trucks, it was over with. That's what I wanted to do. Oh, yeah. Cause you won't content where you was at. Something yeah. just tell you to like, bro, I'm not trying to do this. That's why I was like, man, I could work at Matt. That's why I'm like, bro, I'm, I'm past. Um, it's certain stuff that I'm past, like no matter, I don't care how damn bad I'm just not doing. It's not even a prize situation. It, no, I, it's not a prize situation. It's just once, once I worked at Wendy's, bro, I said I'd never work in fast food again. You and I prayed, me? Once like, I, I prayed, Wendy's, bro, like, bro, no. If I had a child and I had to, yeah, I would. But yeah, but I'm chilling right now, right. so I'm yeah, I'm like nah. But that that fast food crazy, bro. And I've been doing it since I graduated. 2017, worked at Wendy's, down here three years, switched to another Wendy's. Then I worked at Denzo, but I got injured at Sanderson Farms and then Walmart, which was cool, but the way it was set up, like it won't for me, you feel me? So I'm like, man, I'm all done with it. I'm about to go back in school, see what I can do. Beside you. Y'all take this picture, all right? So we're gonna, we're gonna pray and get out of here? Yes, sir. Right. Yes, absolutely, absolutely. So for those of you who do not know, Derek Taylor is one of the brothers of the- But y'all look, I said, yeah, that's bro, that's the drummer. That boy, listen, bro, like that. Bro, I feel like I've seen him before, regular in Greenville. Like, just like, regular about. Um, I feel like I've seen him before. I come to church smelling excellent Sunday, cause I, I definitely don't smell excellent right now. I ain't even smell you, gang. I don't want to try to smell you, bro. I understand that, but I, I think you smell yourself. I, that's why I don't understand how niggas be stinking. Because you smell yourself before anybody else. Fact, fact. Fact. Overall, it was a successful church day, man. I really got some words it really hit to me, especially about the planning, because I caught myself in that same situation yeah. very recently where I had a decision to do something, but I ain't had a proper planning behind it with the steps. Now let someone throw me off, bro. But it's just like, I'm trying to tell you, just whatever questions you have or whatever questions you need answered, bro, think about it and focus on those questions. And I I feel like every time that I've had those questions when I came here, either Chad answered them or the pastor preached them. Because he yeah. preached, the dude that was in there, he preached the first time I ever came. Yeah. And then the, uh, 
the head pastor, which is the lady she preached the last two times that I came. But everybody in there cool, like I told you. It's just, it's just genuine vibes. Definitely, man. I, I, I definitely like the feeling, man. I, I just, I felt good. You know what I'm saying? Like he was definitely speaking on stuff that hit me. Yeah, he, I'm like, they talk about risk. Then he came out with the paper too. I'm like, okay, that's a clarification. Like, they talk about real life, bro. It ain't no. It's cool. They talk man. about just like, oh, you gonna go to hell right now? I'm like, nah. It's, they talk about real life. They talk about. How you can approve like day by day? Cause everybody, I think everybody try to change overnight, and that's not possible. Like you can, you can have people that change overnight, but nine times out of ten, you really not. Like it's you gonna still yeah. be fighting with what you fighting with. So it's just if you take your time and work through it, then you'll be good. That's a hundred, man. Cause I ain't gonna lie, that fried food thing, boy, that don't mess me up. Cause I'm like, boy, I ain't, I ain't ate fried food since our fast started. I ain't gonna lie to you. Sweets mess me up, cause I really want to come here and get an apple pie. <laughs> but it's but from it's from that. six. It's from it's from six to no no no. It's from nine at night to six in the morning. I think. Like every day. Yeah, cause six thirty in the morning is when she goes on. It's like in the morning, she goes on. Um, she goes online on YouTube and um, she has like a, a word for us for these forty days that we on this fast. Definitely, definitely. So, yeah, I gotta check in with it, man. I, I was talking about making this because it's not our first, your first time you were saying it too, like this gospel song. You feel me? Oh, definitely. Because I, I've been in the crib, like thinking away, like how can I put my my type of pain and the blessings I'm trying to get. You know what I'm saying? Or like the blessings that I have received yeah. in a song to make it. You feel me? Yeah. That's why I feel like I'm gonna put on this paper, like just for one of them lane, anyway. Like, just learning your link. Because I'm going to put For more real. than one thing, too. On the definitely, book. I got to put more than one. It's definitely but more than it's one. just like, I already know. I got you. Maybe For you sure. gonna find out. Chad, definitely. Okay, I got Chad. Cause he, I'm trying to tell yeah. you, Chad going to check up on you. Because we talk literally every day. For sure, man. I'm going to give him this number, too. This phone me on some other junk. Especially text and McCall. It's just going to do what they do. Hey, but that was his contract. A lot of our quick. Oh. I'll tell you a lot of our quick. Hey man, it was a successful church day. You know what I'm saying? Really Came, sweet. scoop, and it was definitely good. But I know my man's tired. But I'm gonna show y'all this paper, and I want y'all to let me know. Oh, you fill it out yourself. Fill it out for yourself, and then just ponder and think about it, man. That's it, man. We all.